Viewers, welcome back, and the Bastost experiment is over. I don't know why he's on the game. He's been sold, Chodos has been brought in to replace him, and our Dutch forward line is now less Dutch, by which I mean there's no Dutch players in it. So Chodos comes in, we keep the Asadia and Dutch theme going though throughout the series, and let's get into another game then, as we find our first opponent, who's got Kalin Benzema at front, a play you don't actually see all too often on FIFA this year. I quite, I've enjoyed him on PC, I've, I've played him and Mbappe as a two, so um, yeah, I, he comes recommended from me. Asensio in behind as well, Inaki Williams and Delafeu, so a pacey forward line, uh, and Benzema of course a clinical finisher up top, wearing that Real Madrid kit in his profile picture. So, the game got underway then and uh, the first chance of the game fell to Brozovic who ran through and found the finish 10 minutes in a really good goal as well uh, I realize our, our kit although it's the Danish away kit, it looks like Poland so I, I'm gonna pretend that we're Poland from now on uh, but a great way to start the game and Brozovic I think was his first goal for the club uh, it didn't take long though for him to get back on level terms Rainer with a save but it forced for Lucky Williams who just left foot finish finds the back of the net we can't keep it out and rebounds are very difficult to stop on FIFA, by which I mean they're pretty much impossible to stop. Uh, and there's not much you can do about it either, is it? Because the keeper saves it, and then you're left in, in no man's land, essentially. Decent first stop from Reyna, you've got to say, reflexes on point, um, but couldn't make the second stop to keep it out. So 1-1. One, one. And the game's continued. It was a corner ball played in from his goalkeeper to note. So then the race was on. Could I get the goal uh, before his keeper got back? Brozovic launches it upfield. It's headed. And then all of a sudden, there you have it. <laughs> I mean, Mauro Icardi with... I mean, it's a 55-yard it's a finish or, or something similar to that. How often do you score a volley from there? It's one of the best goals I've ever scored on FIFA. Sort of, when there's no goalkeeper in there. But no, his keeper's at the, the, the corner... I don't know if that was planned or what, but I took advantage, and um, I'm sure he was equally annoyed about it. We'll see from the replay. It's quite the finish. I mean, it's it's launched forward, which is which was brave, really, because that was a bit of a risk. But then from inside the D or the centre circle, and we don't see many goals scored from inside the centre circle. Let's put it that way. Akadi applies the finish, and well. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I mean, what more can you say? At half time, then we're having a pretty dominant display. His pass because he's not the best, whereas ours is up at 81% with more possession, slightly more shots as well. Uh, Quincy Promise then scores a lovely little chip after the break, 68 minutes on the clock, and uh, that is one of the mo most impressive things he's done since signing for us a few episodes ago. A lovely little finish. Keeper can do nothing about it. And uh, yeah, it's, he ran through, chipped the keeper, and put us in a, a, a clear advantage at this stage. 3 2. But didn't last all that long. Three balls played forward, and Asensio is in on goal. And I mean, he hits it very hard into the corner of the net. Pepperoni beaten and Spaniard on Spaniard action there. And it's 3 2. So a good goal for him. Gets him back in the game. The game's certainly not over at this point either. And uh, yeah, Van Dijk is completely dumbfounded. And Asensio on his right foot scores the goal. So back on uh, back, back on watch, I guess. We were nervous at this point. Not long left to go. 12 minutes, in fact. But luckily for us, it mattered little. I'd like to increase the tension there, making you think we may well be defeated. But no, it wasn't the case. 3-2 uh, win then. And that, of course, meant we got to buy ourselves a player. Coins were put into the bank. And because of a, pro a promotion as well, or a title win... It was uh, 6,500 coins, so two players could be bought. The first of which then, Kevin Strutman, uh, a Dutch player that plays in the Serie A. Could he be more perfect? On that left-hand side as well, left-footed, uh, slots in there nicely. And then for the Premier League side, we made a signing two. Up top, similar theme, uh, sort of a link player, if you like. Uh, Morata plays up top then, Spaniard in the Premier League. Very good weak foot. And uh, decent skill as well. Three-star is okay. So enough for me as a striker. So yeah, those two players have been brought in. Two decent additions. I think they're both 84 rated as well. So we're upping that. And you can see with Morata, strength is, is the name of the game for him. He's got a bit of it about him. So that's what I like to see. And uh, we, we use this team, I believe, in our next game, did we? Well, I think we'll, we'll figure this out together. Here we did. Danny Graham and Alfred Morata up front for this one then. And we're playing a, a sort of a Mansfield 11. Red Devil FC, but Mansfield FC. And it's uh, Douglas Costa. Douglas Costa. I've, I've messed this up a few times. Diego Costa, my apologies. Adam Romana in behind with Rashford there as well. Sterling, Sané and Matic, Kishoni, Rudiger, Odier on the right, Shaw on the left and Kasper Schmeichel in goal. So 100 chemistry, 82 rating to a decent side that we should certainly be fearful of and there was a reason to be fearful. Half uh, half the game already gone, 45 minutes on the clock and Lallana plays through Marcus Rashford and that is really the only, uh, the only highlight of the first game. I didn't even show you the kickoff. That's really the only thing that happened in it and uh, yeah, a very good strike for the edge of the box. Left us with a 1-0 deficit as the game is it feels like in this episode at least it's, it's barely begun um but yeah it's just there's not much you can do when a player as good as Rashford strikes it from that like, side of the box when, it, when you get it on that side 
what I'm saying is, if you get it on your preferred foot on the edge of the box, I feel like goals green far more often this year than they did in previous years. Um, so defensively, just wasn't really aware. We had one shot on target in the whole first half, so it wasn't the best. So into the second half we went then, and it didn't take long again. Rashford finds the ball forward to Raheem Sterling, who just slots one, 49 minutes on the clock. And in recent episodes, folks, I've been losing more games. Now, I'm not sure if this is the team to blame. I do think Danny Graham in certain games is, is very limiting. So I think as, as episodes go on, there's a chance we won't see him as often. Um, but Sterling with the finish, you can see it's a smart finish into the bottom corner. He beats my keeper pretty comfortably. 2-0 uh, down. I mean, again, defeats are coming. I don't necessarily think it's the, the, the rising division because on PC I've done not too bad. So I don't really know what's going on. Danny Ali strikes back though. 2-1, 51 minutes gone. And a really good strike for him. Again, it's similarly to Rashford's goal, you get to a certain position, you ain't going to miss. You put the right amount of power in, it's nearly unstoppable. And Dele Alli proved that with that strike then. And I was very eager to get things underway. Down this right-hand side went Sterling again, though, as he crosses it in. And Adam Lallana gets the header. We don't win it at the back post. And it's 3-1 now. And I'm, I'm stressed out, frankly, because the games we're losing, I feel like I'm, I'm well in. But I'm just not converting enough chances. And um, you see my keeper there. Well, but I think it's Sadra in goal, isn't it? So not the best from him. 3-1 down to Mansfield. Uh, Cazorla, though, plays through Danny Graham. And I was slagging him off. But he did get me almost back in the game. 93, sorry, 93 minutes gone. 63 minutes gone. Graham on the score sheet. Celebrates with the fans. Look at that. You can see that. That is love right there. That is true love between Danny Graham and the front row of the... Uh, I think, are they even the away fans? Maybe they are. But a great finish from Graham. He, look, in certain situations, even Danny Graham can score goals from any area. As we've seen last episode, he scored some bangers. And then finally, 89 minutes gone. Morata, lovely turn. <sighs> he couldn't get the goal. Michael made the save. And that was the end of the game. And a decent result for that guy. Disappointing result for me. Still some coins in the bank. And you can see from the stats there, we were, we were having far more of it. And we went straight back into our next game. I was ready and raring to go. Of course, no win means no signings. And we came up against Jamie Vardy and the gang. Salah are there as well. Uh, Quadrado, Santi Cazorla. You've got Matic, Raheem Sterling playing a slightly deeper role. And Donnarumma in goal with no link. Still a very good goalkeeper. And someone would have to be at our sharpest to beat. But it was he that got the first goal. Jamie Vardy weaves and waggles his way through. And bangs one into the top right hand corner. And uh, does the celebration that... I think he quite enjoys with the rest of his team. But yeah, so he's 1-0 up. And we had it all to do very early on. And it wasn't getting any easier. Salah plays in Sterling. who weirdly was playing in this deeper role. But gets through. And, uh, and finds the back of the net. Really good finish from him. Salah with a lovely little chip. Uh, sorry, yeah, is it Salah with a chip? I think it is. Annoying to see that happen because it's a little bit dirty. But at the same time, a decent finish. And then Jamie Vardy on the spin, on the turn. Was one of the best goals I've, I've conceded this, uh, in this series so far. And he repeats the celebration. But th the biggest story here, folks, is 3-0 down after 26 minutes. Could we get back in the game is the big question. As I say, we've been losing games left, right and centre recently. And this, this was, things were going from bad to worse. But anyway, we did eventually get back in the game. It played through from the kickoff even, I think it is. Morata with the finish. Couldn't do it in the last game, but could do it in this one. And gives us a bit of a lifeline. 33 minutes just ticks over. And Morata pops the ball into the back of the net. Nice passing move from us as well as the finesse shot comes in against Patton Gang. So I was disappointed to see it not be, uh, I was not getting more from it. But 3 1, not a bad result for this guy so far. So as we go to the second half, we were ready for action and uh, we get ourselves a chance almost immediately. Charlie Austin, as he makes his way past the defender, Morata makes the run on the overlap and he finds him. Alvaro Morata. He's a very hit and miss kind of striker, is Morata. It's unnerving me. As things stand, as Chamberlain plays through Cazorla, lovely little flick. It's Charlie Austin, pulls it back, strikes it on goal, and a 3 2. So, all of a sudden, mixed emotions. We've, we've had Morata score a goal, but then miss a really easy chance. Charlie Austin creates almost a chance for himself after a nice little ball from Santi Cazorla, and 3 2 with not long left. And I'm thinking, right, there's still a chance for us to get back in this. And so that happens. Sandy Cazorla. I mean, I, I use him myself, so I know how good he is. On his left foot, bangs in a spectacular finish as he sits on the uh, the advertising hoardings as well. Really showing off, if anything, making it worse, rubbing it in. But no, a really good strike. I don't think you'll quite see it hit the back of the net, but it was from distance, as you saw. And um, yeah, we, we'd fallen 4-2 down. Does, does it go in? I mean, question marks, although we, we have already seen it. And I knew how good Santi Cazorla was at this point, so I thought, well, I'm going to have a go. And I bang one in as well. So it's the Santi Cazorla show late in this game. 84 minutes on the clock. Can we get an equaliser with not long left to go? 
4-3, a really good move from Cazorla. He's just a very good technical player, and I think me and my opponent both knew this. Great strike for him, though. Keeper has absolutely no chance, and there's still a little bit of time left. Can we then get the equaliser required? The answer is... No, Morata with an option with an opportunity very late in the game doesn't get it and it ends 4 3. And I've not applied any coin boosts there either, so we only got 400 coins and no wins on the board. So I thought we'll apply some contracts to Deli Ali, we'll switch up the squads, and we'll go into the next episode in the next game in higher spirits, hopefully. And I'll see you for it. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to see a bit more of this? Subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.